Yo, what is going on, guys? Episode number six of the Deacus Tree. This time, we are starting off with a game real quick. And as you can see, we're going up against a Montreal Canadiens fan. Well, that's the logo anyway, but we start off with a backhand goal. And I'm sorry if many of these goals are backhands, but I feel like that's one of the greatest ways to score in this game. Again, kind of the same goal, backhand. Probably 70% of my goals are backhand, and take a gander at that backhand. But I mean, I just... I feel like that's the greatest way to score. They're getting me, like, alone on a breakaway, basically. So, I mean, I wouldn't really consider it a glitch goal because if they were playing better defense, then that wouldn't happen. Because you can see, again, another breakaway, another backhand, another right upstairs with Brian Boyle somehow. But it doesn't matter. It's 5-1 at this point, and we got another breakaway, another backhand goal. And this guy's like, you know what? I'm done with the backhand. I'm out. He does leave, but... We get the win, and we start off with this game. We don't go backhand, but he gives it right back to us, and we destroy him. I think that was St. Louis who destroyed him, and he just goes up and scores. I mean, you don't really consider St. Louis a big guy and don't really expect him to hit people, but apparently he can right there, and he destroyed that guy. And then this great play by Ryan gets left to just go in there. He beats two defenders, gets the puck back to Giroux, and scores. So there you go, two goals, not really backhand. So that is nice to start off this game with. And then we get a breakaway again. He's allowing me to get a breakaway, and we go backhand. I would consider the backhand annoying, but I mean, they are giving me a breakaway, and it's sort of like the backhand forehand of last year. But I would like to score other type goals, but I feel like most of the time I'm just getting breakaways, and this is not a good play by me at all. But we do end up winning that game 3-1, so we start off with a few wins. And here we decide to open some packs, and by some... We probably open about 10 to 15. I open most of these on my birthday, you know, expecting some pretty good stuff, and you guys will see what we get. But the first pack, probably the best player was Havlat. This one, we got a Hartnell, but I mean, 83 skating, he's not the biggest name. Well, he's a pretty big name, but with 83 skating, he's not going to go for much, and he's like, he's not really like a, a superstar or speedy guy, so he's definitely not going to go for much. And he's only 85 in this game, I believe, so nothing special. This pack, we get an Oliver ekman Larson, who's an 86, so not too great. Doesn't sell for that much, but he is such an unreal card, and I definitely recommend picking him up. But so far, the first three packs, nothing too special. This one, we get Elliot, who apparently is good, but not really worth that much. And then we get, like, 27 change team cards, and that's about it in that pack. And we go open another one, and again, these are all with... Puck, uh, coins, I should say. These are all with coins, not with money. Trying to, uh, well, I got a little bit of a donation for my birthday, and I appreciate that because it definitely helps the series out because I it's so hard making pucks in this game, especially with I don't have that much time. I literally only play this game to record videos at the moment. I might try to play for fun every now and then, but at the moment I literally go on, record some stuff, maybe edit a few things up and make the video, and that's about it, really. Tried to get in Destiny, but I really haven't had the time but anyway, I do appreciate the donation. It does help the series. But we're still opening these packs with the remaining coins we have. And as you could see, it hasn't really paid off. I mean, you saw 87 a glint, and there he is. A wheeler who, I mean, he's 87. He's a pretty fast player in real life. I'm not sure how fast he is in the game, but he's not worth much. And then we open this pack, and I mean... Yakupov, pretty big name because he's a he was an upcoming rookie who was first round, but I mean... Only 83, not even the greatest player in the game, and then we keep opening these packs, and I mean, I, I don't know, I don't understand why we can't pull anything, like, again, Wheeler's pretty good player, Oliver Ekman Larson's a pretty good player, but at the moment, we've probably spent like 140,000, 150,000 coins, and we maybe walk out with 20,000, if that, I think Wheeler probably goes for like 6, 7k, this pack's pretty good, I mean, we see Calary and Yemi. Yemi only is 4k, which was a bit shocking. I was expecting an 87 goalie to be like 7, 15, 20k, but only 5k. Camilleri's only 5k as well, so not the greatest pack there. This pack, we do pull a, a Victor Hedman, so that is a very good uh, pickup. The guy may not be that good looking, like his, obviously not his appearance, but I mean, I meant to say like from his stats and stuff like that, but he is a very, very, very solid defenseman. Like... I'm, I'm saying he's one of the best defensive defensemen in the game. He probably actually is, probably top 5, top 10. But in terms of how he actually plays, he's pretty fast. And he's just such a big player. He always is blocking shots, and I definitely recommend him. Although his price is a bit expensive at 30k. I'm not really sure how much you can get him for it, but I mean, 
30k was his last price sold, so you may have to pay 30 to 40k. But I mean, I still recommend him if you have the pucks. We go into this game against a possibly Penguins fan, but he did just get the I don't remember what they're called. They're the Penguins affiliate team, so he may be a Penguins fan or he may just like that logo. But anyway, we do get off to a one nothing lead. A pretty lucky goal on my part. wasn't a back I mean, it wasn't just a backhand goal, but we do get a backhand forehand goal. But we do go up two nothing, which is pretty nice against this guy. I love these jerseys, they look really, really nice, and I hope you guys do enjoy this series. I mean, I'm enjoying doing it, but the only thing is, like, I'm trying to keep it active for you guys, but it is hard, like, I don't really know what else I could do, and, I mean, I'm playing the game's opening packs, and without really a, like, sc not, not a score, like, without really rules or stuff like that, it is hard, especially not with having, like, I don't have many coins, so it is hard to just upgrade players and make tributes. I did change a few players here and there throughout the series that weren't too good, and I don't think they deserve a tribute, but I may have to do that because it's hard, like, getting, like, Getzlaff, for example. That's basically him and Giroux, and then that's about it on my team, to be honest. I mean, Shattenkirk's good, but I got him in a free pack. St. Louis good, but got him in a free pack. Like, it's hard getting coins in this game, especially... Uh, I mean, I used to work the market a bit, but I just haven't had the time to, and it's just so slow that it's so hard to do it. I mean, the 59-minute mark takes forever to get to now. I don't have that many coins to start off with, so I can't really get big steals. I can get a ton of little steals, but that's a ton of time that I sadly do not have at the moment, so it is hard upgrading my team and getting new players, sadly. Big players. I've been trying to get some packs, and that has not really been working out. I mean, I did get a few big pulls, obviously, but as of lately, I haven't got much. And this goal is slowed down because I thought it was pretty nice. We skate right there, a little truffle shuffle. We go right through him, and bam. We just shoot forehand, and we score. I don't know if he was trying to control his goalie. It sort of looked like he was, but I thought that was a pretty nice goal. And Voracek scores to make it a 5 or 6-1 game, and that was the end of that one. And again, we move into another game. This game is basically all packs and games. It definitely was a pretty good episode if you guys have been paying attention. We've been winning every game, but he does go off to the one nothing lead at the start, and Camilleri is going to deke through him, get a breakaway, and go backhand. Ah, so that's the famous backhand goal that's going to be 90% of my goals, because people just keep giving me breakaways, and I mean, backhand is the way to go, definitely. And this great keeping... This great, this great keep in by Oliver Ekman Larson to Voracek all the way to, I I'm not sure who scored that, but it was a really nice goal and a great keep in by Oliver Ekman Larson. And then Latang just swoops in and scores, basically skates by the whole team. A very, very nice goal. Again, we won the other game. And now we're going against the Penguins fan, I believe, this time anyway. We score. He gets that. A huge save by our goalie who throws it right back out to whoever he got and he scored. This game would go all the way to the shootout. Backhand goal. And as you can see, this guy, I was expecting him to score a lot in the shootout and go backhand, but apparently he was going forehand. And as you can see, I mean, most of the goals in this game are backhand for breakaways, so I thought he was going to go backhand, and we do the same thing. We go right to the backhand, we score again, and I was like, okay, he's coming back this time. He's going to go backhand, and we'll see what happens. He rushes down, and he sort of goes backhand, but he completely misses. And we do get a win in a shootout, so that feels nice to win. Don't really like how you can't control the goalies, but it's whatever. This guy comes in and gets a backhand goal from a pretty bad angle, which is not the greatest. But we do score right here at potential possible goalie interference, but I haven't really noticed that many of them in this game anyway. We tie the game 1-1. Gets left, gets a pretty nice pass through, just deeks right, left, and scores. We get this puck up. He hits him. I mean, I don't know how that went in. Another pretty lucky goal. So far, we have two lucky goals this game. We get a breakaway, get hit, and then that goes in. That's three lucky goals this game. I, I just... Whew, I don't know. This game was so unlucky for that guy. But we do end up winning our division. We go 6-0. and We are on fire. And we also do finally complete the New Jersey Devils collection, as well as the two... What do they call the two, uh, not legend teams, the, the red all-stars and the blue all-star teams. We got the two bronze packs. And then this one, we actually got a gold player in Sam Gagne, who's pretty good, but I don't think he'll really make a spot on our team, sadly. We can't trade him or anything like that, so we'll just stay in our collection. We never had him. This pack, we got a Grabowski, who's actually a really sick card. I'm happy to get him. And maybe I was hoping for an Ovechkin, possibly Datsuk, something like that. We have a few more packs to open up, and we're going to do that right now. So we're going to open up the next pack. We're going to go right into this one. We got a Johansson. Uh, not the greatest card, but he's pretty fast. But again, 
not going to make our team, so at the moment he's pretty worthless, but he does help our completion to the Capitals collection. We also get a Wisniewski, which would have been a really nice pull, although we did pull one earlier before, and this one is not tradable. But we can trade the one that is tradable and then keep this one in our collection, but I'm not sure he's going to make a spot. This pack was not very good at Eric Fair and Kevin Klein. I mean, don't think either of those guys are ever making a spot in our team, so we're going to quick sell the rest for a good old zero pucks and then again we get another Wisniewski so that's the worst honestly we have two of them that we can't trade and one that we can but we do get a plus thousand pucks which is not the best I'm uh, not the worst not the worst this one we got our James Reimer which is actually pretty nice he could be a goalie for us but at the moment Peters has been pretty good for us just our defense is what's bringing us down and this is going to be the last game of the episode we are like seven or eight no this episode we won our division six no we get a little breakaway we go back in and we will score so it's not a top shelf backhand but it is a backhand, and we go 1-0 against this guy. We shoot the puck there. I don't know how that didn't go in, but I don't know how that did go in. But Raymond does score to give us a 2-0 lead, and at this point, it was very frustrating. I'm not going to not gonna be the one to make a bunch of excuses, but at, at this point, I thought I was going to win this game, and I was literally barely paying attention. I was on my computer trying to do some stuff, and then that's what happens when you don't pay attention. He gets three quick goals. And that's going to be the GG no re, and we are done with that game. We get a nice loss to end the episode off. But again, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It honestly means a lot. I've tried putting in a lot of work for you guys. Sadly, this episode will not have any tributes, but I want to know what your guys' overall reviews of this series is so far. What do you guys want to see differently, and should I keep it up and stuff like that? But if you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, and I will see you guys later. I gotta stay high.